Each player sits behind their towers, keeping the dice of their color, from here onwards, pawns. Players place the spells board next to the battlefield, and place the score marker tower, on the, zero, of their color, on the spells board. Grab the special die, and get ready to start the fight. During their turn, the player rolls the special die. If the result is either the red symbol or the blue symbol, the player can use the spells we'll see after in this tutorial. If the result is an elixir of value 3, 4, 5 or 6, the player can divide the value and use it to combine pawn placements and movements. For example, with 5 elixir the player can place a pawn of value 4 and move another pawn by one square. Or Deploy a pawn of value 2, and another pawn of value 3. Or, place a 1 value pawn, and move another pawn by 4 squares. Or, move a pawn by 3 squares, and move another by 2 squares. When the player has used all the elixir at their disposal, their turn ends, and the opponent's turn begins. At the beginning of the game, a player can only place pawns on their own towers, one per tower. Though they don't need to cover all the towers. As pawns advance, subsequent placements can be made in any square behind them, but never beyond the most advanced row, where another pawn is already placed, see squares with a green check. In any case, the placement of new pawns, is only possible on a player's own side of the river, the central row. And this is true, even if you have pawns that have moved beyond the river, after placing. Pawns can be moved forward and horizontally, to the left and right. Pawns can never be moved backwards or diagonally, unless the appropriate spell is used. Clashes take place when a moving pawn, stops on top of, or attempts to go past a square, occupied by an opposite pawn, in this case, the winning pawn, is the one with the higher value. Remove the lower value pawn, and subtract its value from the winning pawn, which can continue its movement if there is, any elixir left. It's possible to carry out several consecutive movements, and clashes in a turn. In the example, the blue 5 value pawn, makes a movement of 3 squares, attacking and wiping out 2 red pawns. At the end of the offensive, its value has dropped to 2. A pawn that arrives on the opponent's tower, clashes first with the enemy pawn on that tower, if present then deals damage equal to its remaining value to the towers. The player updates their score on the board by moving the scoreboard forward, d by as many points of damage, as they scored on the tower. The first king to inflict a total of 10 damage to the enemy towers, wins the battle. When a player rolls the special die and gets the blue dot, they enter in the, blue spells mode, the player immediately has two elixirs, that they can use to deploy or move their pawns, following normal placement, and movement rules. Then, before or after placing or moving pawns, they can use one of the four available blue spells. If the player does not want to use one of the four spells listed, they can try to win the blue jackpot, by rolling the special die again. If the result is the blue dot, they can immediately place a pawn, with value 5 on the field, following standard placement rules. Power up. The player can increase the value of one of their pawns on the field, but not on the towers, by one. Venom. The player can decrease the value of an opponent's pawn on the field, but not on the towers, by one. Diagonal move. The player can move one pawn forward diagonally by one square. Fireball. The player can decrease the value of an opponent's pawn present on an opponent's tower, but not on the field, by one. Big power up. The player can increase the value of one of their pawns on the field, but not on the towers, by two. Alternatively they can increase two pawns on the field, by one each. Bolts. The player can decrease the value of an opponent's pawn present on the field, but not on the towers, by two. Alternatively they can decrease two opponent's pawns on the field, by one each. Jump. The player can move a pawn forward by jumping over the square in front of it, to land onto the following one. Arrows. The player can decrease the value of an opponent's pawn present on an opponent's tower, but not on the field, by two. 
Alternatively, they can decrease the value of two pawns on two opponents' towers by one each. Use your strategic ability to place and move your pawns. Use the spells to produce infinite combinations of moves and attacks. Build your way to defeat your opponent. That's two kings. Thanks you for your attention and have fun.